the well, time is 632. 632. We'll call the work oh, session of mayor and council for January 22nd, 2018 to order. Uh, we'll first go over, review the regular business and public hearing agenda items. And, um, we've got the invocation and pledge. Do you know how to say the Sepulveda? The Sep accents on the PU. <laughs> oh, Jason? Jason. Oh, yeah. Come on. What was last night? Sepulveda. Yeah, I got it. Nice. I got it. Okay, I just mm -hmm. I have a I'd hard time. I appreciate it if y'all could find some like Jones and Smith. Yeah, not yeah. Snowville. Yeah. Yeah. That's great. They named Miss Boulevard after him in Los Angeles. Yeah. His dad Boulevard. works for really? the county. Oh yeah, yeah, it runs forever. <coughs> like all their boulevards. Yeah. Under ceremonial matters, the uh, Snowville Tourism and Trade Awards are going to be postponed to next month. Um, Kelly, it's Kelly's mom's birthday, and she oh. hasn't been feeling well, so she wanted to spend the night with her. Uh, minutes, We've got committee and department reports. Chris Johnson will not be here. Yeah, Nikki Jones is doing it. Oh, Nikki is? That was the last thing I heard of Chris, yeah. And I will be doing SYC for Chris. <laughs> And then, so we have the first reading um, on the in-part investments. Any questions on that at this point? It's just the first read, so we'll um, waive that and place it on the February 12th agenda. <coughs> the only other thing we have is under new business, uh, just to surplus the tractor. Miss Al was asking, is this the tractor that we had the screwdriver to start? <coughs> <laughs> what, year, what year is it? Yeah. Does the screwdriver uh, still work? Yeah. There's something clunking around in there. I don't, it, I don't know. We couldn't even crank it. So. Like my, my old lawnmower. We have a shiny new Kubota <laughs> yes, now. Yes, we do. Oh. <laughs> Very good. So that's everything on our <coughs> regular meeting. Anybody have any questions or? Any correspondence? None. Oh, my goodness. Um, under course, well, I could do this one today. The, um, just wanted to bring up the torch run. Uh, Mayor Judy Johnson has sent out a schedule of when the, this is the torch run for the bicentennial celebration for Gwinnett County. Um, she sent out the schedule it's going to hit Snellville on oops, my thing didn't turn right. May 30th. No, May 15th. Wait a minute. May. Yeah, I've got May 15th. Uh, it'll be at Shiloh um, May 7th. Then it's going to come Bethany Church Road, DeZora Road, Senator Rosebud, Lenora Church Road into Snellville. It'll stop at Lenora Park Community, uh, Community Center. Then it'll come up to the Snowball Library on May 30th. Then it'll come to City Hall. So May? May, between May 15th and oh, 30th. between the 15th and the 30th. It'll be here. And when it, when it goes, where does it go when it leaves? When it leaves, it's going to Loganville. Okay. Down 78. Down 78. Past the tree. So it'll hit Loganville <coughs> June the 7th. Because what's happening is it's not like a continuous run. Mm -hmm. It's going to go and it'll be parked here at City Hall for days or weeks. And then it'll they'll pick it up here and move it. Okay. And you're going to run it to Loganville? Yeah, all the way. All you're going to run. <laughs> I'm working on that now. I started my training program. You're running for, what, six, 10K yep. with the torch? Yeah. yeah. How, how long is it to Logan? I don't know. Like six, miles. Yeah, six miles. Depends on traffic. Are they going to clear the way for you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm Police escort. Oh, look at them. You're so cute. Yeah. I think I'm going to get like up the stairs at City Hall or something. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm thinking we'll make them bring it around this way so there won't be any stairs. I'll just you can walk run up it to the stairs. <laughs> 
City Attorney's report. I just have a need for an executive session mm -hmm. to real estate litigation yeah. matters. Okay. Uh, update on projects. The uh, <clears throat> town center, we have an um, executive session need uh, for, for that. Um, town center joint city and county plans, we're moving along. We have a, a pre-bid meeting. Uh, tomorrow, as a matter of fact, at 10 o'clock, we probably will have uh, five or six interested parties here uh, mm -hmm. about designing the library market building. Mm -hmm. uh, appreciate <coughs> all of your input on Saturday. Uh, public relations and marketing, I talked to Brian about uh, <coughs> working. We'll work with uh, um, Lisa and Kathy on uh, senior center information. because uh, um, So we'll, that can be a, a good brochure information packet there, I think. Town hall meetings, uh, we found the, uh, the DOT <coughs> project manager, <coughs> Mr. Jennings, has he been coming to the, all the meetings? I've been Blake him. Jennings? No, it's been uh, Roger Moon. Okay. Or Robert Moon. Well, now he's with Pittman. Right. Blake Jennings is with GDOT, and I've asked him to uh, talk to their PR department uh, to have uh, um, somebody who is comfortable in front of crowds because we probably will have uh, another town hall meeting, imagine in February, if, if, it's, if construction's really going to pick up at the end of February, early March. Uh, so they're looking for uh, um, somebody who can who can fit that bill, ask questions, and uh, provide information. The um, the UDO, uh, Jason and uh, Austin and John are trying to set up a meeting with Caleb on February first to go over <coughs> staff comments and questions on Caleb's uh, code work. The roundabout construction. Uh, is one of those uh, executive session items that uh, we need uh, regarding regarding property. 78 and 124, you know, the work is progressing. Uh, once again, it won't pick up until uh, end of February, March. Uh, I think Robert Moon has been very good to, to work with as the superintendent on the job with Pittman. We'll just have to uh, make sure we continue to, uh, to monitor that. Uh, <coughs> Business retention and uh, uh, attraction is still will be ongoing. No, no update there. Um, the 2017 SPLOSS program. As, as everybody knows, we have two joint agreements with the county. One is transportation. One is also recreation. We have a million dollars. Uh, we've been in touch. Uh, the contact through the county's law department is Van Stevens. Um, do I guess Tony and Chuck know? Uh, he is developing the, the recreation IGA. Hopefully we can get that back. It's three, three weeks to our next meeting. Uh, my, my goal is to be able to have that in front of you at that time. So he's going to call and we'll, we'll have a meeting. Higher education outreach. Uh, I think there was a report on the latest meeting on Saturday. <clears throat> so that is moving somewhat. We have some, uh, some more information that we can continue to work on. The U.S. 78 sidewalk, we've been in touch with the uh, uh, property owners. Audico has begun work slowly, just like the uh, DLT project, but uh, they're down there working in front of First Presbyterian. Uh, and the good news is the, uh, the signage, I talked to uh, the folks at, at not, West, not First Pres, Westminster, and they are, uh, um, they are not going to have to move their signs or any of the crosses that are out, out front. Oh, so the sidewalks are being built. What's that? You're talking about the sidewalk that's being built. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh. So it is a. Um, you just have to, to go and make the sign. And they've been well, <laughs> They've been great to work with. They're letting these guys put park their equipment in the parking lot as long mm -hmm. as it stays away from their from their bus, mm -hmm. uh, which is lighted for security purposes. We don't get to park. And uh, apparently they have a couple issues there. there with the. I think Dave Emanuel is uh, sending people out to steal catalytic converters to uh, <laughs> gain business. You're not supposed to tell anybody that. <laughs> <laughs> it's not very popular. Yeah. Uh, Isn't it platinum that's in those? The platinum, palladium, and rhodium, yeah. Mm. Mm. Apparently you can make jewelry out of that. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. 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 I guess a bus you can... Actually, as yeah. far as I can see, it's a money laundering deal because it takes too much mm -hmm. effort and time and money to get precious metals out 
I can spend $150 to get $50 worth of stuff. Mm -hmm. It used to be an issue of putting leaded gas in. Remember those days? Yeah. Some of us don't. But I don't remember. I don't remember <laughs> hearing about We that. remember. Vaguely. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> gas locks. All right, we'll have a, uh, an up updated list. Uh, I'm adding some things from Saturday's discussion. There'll probably be several more items on here that we can continue to follow up on. And I won't wait until the next meeting. I'll get those out early and let you review those. <clears throat> Any questions? No? Anybody have anything else for... Oh, I did want to bring up, too, did everybody get the notice from the county about their comprehensive plan mm -hmm. stuff going? Mm -hmm. Did that go to everybody? Mm -hmm. Seeing something about it. I, don't um, know I sent it out. Uh, you sent it to everybody. A couple weeks ago. Right? Yeah. 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 yeah, I mean, it's a couple weeks old. Oh. But this fact sheet was part of that email, and it's got their dates of. Um, so, Gwinnett County is kicking off their unified plan update. Um, last time it was done was like 2006 or seven. I think they adopted it in 2008, maybe. So we'll be starting our comprehensive plan here shortly, but the county's also revamping theirs. So there's going to be opportunity for public input. Um, there'll be op there'll be some online surveys coming out um, and pop up events. So I asked Brian to go ahead and get this on our Facebook and website so that people are aware of when these meetings are coming up. Is that just? It, it looked to me like it was just like a drop-in kind of thing. To, Usually they are. Yeah. It's going to, they may have, I don't, I don't even know what they'll have. I was involved, I was on the planning advisory committee the last go-round um, as the Gwinnett Municipal um, representative. And it was an interesting process. And I was like, oh, it'll be once a quarter, you'll meet and for a year, and then it'll be done. Well, it took three years. <laughs> and, um, but it was interesting in seeing, I mean, that's where I really learned more about Gwinnett County and government than I ever wanted to know because there's a whole big piece they do on water and sewer and you learn about the sewer and where it is and where it is and development and um, you know roads mm -hmm. and so it'll be a whole lot of stuff so they're probably they may have some maps out and stuff with some proposals okay. and get people to talk about it um, but I, it's just something I think it'll be good to keep our citizens aware of that this is for them as well. You know, and we have, I mean, we've got a great reputation with the county because their uh, their transit plan uh, meeting down here when they came to the farmers market one day, they said it was you know they got more comments and was you know they, they talked to more people than any other location they went to. When they came with their uh, traffic study, they had a had a meeting here in the community room. It was the best attended. They got more comments than anywhere else they went. So. Uh, it's it's good to keep that up, keep yeah, them coming so down here for input. Isn't uh -huh. the first one this week? Yeah, Later it's January 25th <coughs> at Five Forks Library. And then the next one that's close to us, there's February 1st is Lilburn Activity Building. February 12th, it'll be at Centerville Library. Um, so those are the ones that are close to us. But it'd be interesting if we could get a lot of our citizens speaking, at least Snellville would be represented in the comments that, you know, come forward. So, um, but Ryan's going to work on keeping that up on Facebook and okay. pushing it out to, to our residents. Okay. Anybody have anything else? Then we will, during the work session of Mayor and City Council of Snellville, Georgia, Mayor Pro Tem Bender announced that certain matters should be